We are fed up as a nation. We are telling you very clearly and very loudly, end occupation now. We can no longer live under occupation, especially now in the time of the Arab Spring. Every nation in the Arab world is gaining its independence from tyranny and from government that are not respecting the democratic right of its people. We are living under a fascist rule, under occupation that is killing our people on a daily on, on, on a daily basis. We therefore, our people are saying this, if you are supporting the Libyan for independence and freedom, if you're supporting the, the Egyptians, the Syrians, and the rest of the Arab world, why not Palestine? The time has come. We are ready to govern ourselves in an independent state. What we need is the end of occupation. That is part of the contract. In addition to that, we have crossed the two-third majority of number of states who have recognized the state of Palestine on the borders of 1967. Therefore, it makes a lot of sense for the international community to legislate these results in allowing Palestine to join its proper place as member of the community of nations and as a full member. He sent a letter to me in which he expressed his unequivocal support for the position of Palestine and whatever Palestine will do. And he pointed out correctly that the decision of admitting states at the United Nations is a decision that will be done by member states, whether through the Security Council or the General Assembly, and he will respect and honor the position of member states when they decide what uh, they will do once we submit the letter or application or draft resolution that we will do as soon as we can. What is really uh, clear is that we have the right to join the community of nations as a full member and our quest by coming to the UN is for that objective but the details of how to accomplish it is still left to, uh, to the consultations whether we will go through the expressway directly to the Security Council or whether we will take the local road which will take us through the General Assembly which eventually will take us to the Security Council. All these are options are available to us. We are consulting extensively and uh, fine-tuning all of our options and the final decision will be announced when we uh, announce it and President Abbas will announce it, and we will act in accordance with that decision when it is announced. We're calling on the PLO to go to the Security Council because we do not accept the blackmail of Obama on our nation by vetoing the decision on, in the Security Council. So our nation is saying, go to the Security Council, we'll back you up, and we're asking Obama to stop his blackmail.